Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I'll be talking about Disney movies and such. Of course, if it's related to Disney in any shape or form, of course, I'll be talking about it, obviously. So I'll be reviewing an animated movie this time around. So again, yes, obviously it's going to be another animated feature centered around Tinkerbell. It's Tinkerbell on the Lost Treasure. Even though technically I've already reviewed this film, but I'm gonna do a version. We're gonna be talking about more, but more on that in a bit, I suppose. But yeah, this is the one I'm gonna be talking about, of course. And is the second installment of the Disney Fairy franchise, produced by Disney Toon Studios, and it was animated by Piranha. Excuse me, Butcher Nut Studios, and of course, he's going to revolve around Tinkerbell, obviously. And she has gone on this grand adventure, of course. So, here we go, obviously. So, anyway, let's talk about the plot of this story, of course. So, let's get into it. And it's right in the beginning of autumn, and the nature talent fairies are bringing autumn to the mainland. It's just that in the meantime, however, in the meanwhile, in Pixie Hollow, Tinkerbell is working on a new invention. Well, of course she is. To help one of her friends, of course. And, yeah, of course, the thing is that, yeah, Terrace, uh, uh, excuse me if I put his name, but, yeah, he does have, like, a romantic feelings for her, but it was never really fully expressed, I guess you can say, towards her. But, anyway, the thing is that is summoned to meet with the queen, the... Fairy Mary and the Minister of Autumn. They showed her this magical moonstone and explained that every eight years during the autumn, a uh, blue harvest moon appears. Its uh, its light passes through the moonstone and creates this blue colored pixie dust, which of course does help to do this kind of a thing, of course, for the tree. And as a result of this, Tinkerbell herself is put in, is basically assigned to create this kind of scepter kind of thing to hold its said moonstone. So she's been taxed to do that. And of course, this individual, this this guy, Mission of Morgan, the male fairy, at least one of them anyway, she asked him to be her assistant, obviously. Anywho, I'm not going to say in a moment ago, folks, I'm going to be reviewing the two discs version of this film of course which has the blu-ray in this film folks at least this version yeah it's going to contain on disc one the blurry feature plus bonus we'll have the metro guide to pixie hollow tinker bell and trezor guides as you explore the autumn area of the pixie hollow plus a few others of course it's going to be in hd quality of course and it will also include some deleted scenes, of course, with this kind of a thing as well, which is nice. And, nice. and in this two ticks combo, we see the Disney World where you see to discover how the filmmakers helped this kind of thing is done. And it has these two discs. One is of a DVD on the other Blu-ray, obviously. So there was that, of course. I like that. I thought that was really good, right? There, how they display this, of course. And yeah, that's the thing, though. So I would say the Blu-ray Blu has some decent content, and so does the DVD, of course. So it does have the right amount of stuff there, obviously. I didn't mind that, actually. Yeah, the, the animated movie is fairly short. It's about, what, 110 minutes, so it's not that long, really, at all. So the pacing of this is actually it's put it, it's pretty much to the point, really, which I appreciate it, actually. Don't need to just drag down with needless stuff, really. But, yeah, even though it's one of my favorites, really, if I don't criticize it for anything, I, I kind of wish that, I know these supposed to be two friends, but, like I said earlier, one of which likes one more than the other, it's just, so it's kind of like a one-sided relationship kind of a thing, so that doesn't really go anywhere. But, anyway, I can say that this is definitely one of those movies, I can say that is definitely, definitely nicely animated. Again, it's re you can really appreciate it when it's on Blu-ray, of course. And like I said, this is the second storm of the series, of course. And this is one of those type of movies where it's 
thing about Lauren, she has to learn from her mistakes. She's not a perfect individual. She's not a perfectly perfect, perfect character like at all. She makes mistakes, of course. And yes, this is one of the situations where a short temper actually got gets the better of her, really. And it shows like the consequences of your sort of mistake, I guess in this case is pretty severe. And she does attempt to fix it true, but at the same time, she still goes about it all wrong. Obviously, she still makes mistakes continuously, even so afterwards, even though she realizes she makes a mistake, but she doesn't really want to admit it or whatnot. And yes, of course, her friends are trying to be there for her no matter what. Obviously, like true friends should. Obviously. So yeah, it's gonna focus on the other fairies for a little bit as well. So there was that, of course. And yeah, it's this character thing about I guess it's loosely based on a character on a novel, or should I say play from nineteen oh four called Peter Pan or the boy who wouldn't grow up. And yes, this all these movies are supposed to be prequels to the Peter Pan movie, by the way. The, the original one, of course. But of, of course, they get a sequel as well, by, by the way, which I did cover a while back. And just, just so you know. But I even reviewed the live action version, in case anyone's wondering. But anyway, yeah, so I was trying to go back to the franchise of this in some kind of way, of course. Uh -huh. This wasn't too shabby for it's worth. I did like it. I like the colors. I like the character kind of design. So I can't really complain too much. It really does have this adventurous feel to it. So I, I, there's a lot to there's a lot a lot to like here, folks. I'll give this an overall rating of a seven point one out of ten. It's a seven point one out of ten for me. So of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.